Hello everybody, it's Anna for Pretty Actions, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about balancing out the greens and reds in your photos. Because this time of year, we tend to be photographing outside a lot in the spring and summer, and we also find a lot of lush greens in our photos. They're great. Um, but sometimes they can be hard to balance with the very warm skin tones that we find in our subjects, mainly due to the light this time of year, but also just because when the temperatures get warmer, um, our subjects' body temperatures rise, so their skin tends to be glowy and beautiful, but it can be difficult to balance out with... Um, with a lot of red and green in your photo. So, in this example, you'll see that my subject skin has a lot of red in it, and also a little bit of yellow, and that the greens are also pretty intense. So, I'm going to show you how to adjust each while still retaining the overall lush color tones in the image. I'm going to start by doing a quick color balance layer to adjust my subject's skin tones, and I can look at the image and see that the most dominant color is uh, red in her skin tone. So I'm balancing that out with the cyan slider since cyan cancels out red. I'm also adding some blue to cancel out the little bit of yellow that I'm seeing here. And then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of green to cancel out some of the magenta. I'm just using a little bit of green here because it's really easy to overdo the green when it comes to skin tones. So less is definitely more. Now I want to apply these adjustments only to my subject. So I'm going to select my soft black brush and I'm just going to erase these adjustments from the background. I'm going to leave the adjustments that I just made on her because I want her to have a cooler tone to her skin than she has in the original image, but I still want to be able to work with these really rich greens that are in my background. So I'm using my brush at full opacity here because I just want to erase everything in this layer mask, but I want to, on her arms here, reduce the opacity of my brush to a lower opacity and go over her arms with that brush so that I'm not as erasing as much on her arms because I want her arms to match her skin. And there was just a little bit of variation in the color between her arms and her face. So I want to keep working with the greens in the background. So for a more fine-tuned edit, I'm going to create a new selective color adjustment layer to work only in the greens. With the color balance layer, we were working with all of the channels combined, but with selective color, we can get a little bit more detailed and just work within one channel. And in this channel, or in this case, I want to work with the green channel. And what I'm going to do first is increase the cyan just to add a touch of cool tone to my green. Now, at the same time, I want to tone down the green a bit. So I'm adding just a slight hint of magenta, but not too much because I don't want it to be muddy or unnatural looking, but just enough to dial down the green a notch. I'm also moving my black slider to the left to brighten the green. If I move it to the right, it becomes darker, but to the left, my greens become lighter and have a bit more of like an airy quality to them. So as you can see, the shift in green is subtle. I just wanted to tone it down a bit, but keep that lush summery feel. I'm going to group my layers by pressing shift and selecting both layers and then control G on my keyboard. And when I turn the group on and off, you can see the before and after. So just remember when you're editing your spring and summer shots that have these lush colors, um, just to keep an eye on your reds and warm tones in your subject's skin and also the green and the, the foliage around them. Just to keep a nice natural balance between the two tones so that one tone isn't louder than the other in your image.